drive, bro. This ain't fun. <laughs> and he just gets through you. Look at that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that was the coolest thing that it could be. Nigga just started I mean, vibrating. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> glitch, <laughs> man. <laughs> Nigga just started, started vibrating. Bounce. Look at him, bro. He's just doing donuts on the day. If you get a shooter from back there, nigga, hurry up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Hurry up. It's not cool, dude. What's going on YouTube? It's your man's the one and only Fruit Gushies, you feel me? And as you already know, I am back with another banger video, you feel me? And by the title of the video, y'all already know that I'm giving y'all the best SIGs, the best glitchy dribbling SIGs to dribble like Steezo, to glitchy dribble, all that. These are the best SIGs in the game to glitchy dribble in Steezo style, all that. But yeah. As y'all already know, I'm an ISO player, so I will be giving y'all my SIGs that I'd be rocking with, you feel me? And I, you already know, it's, it's Christmas time, we about to be in Christmas time, so you know how to change the hair, change the little pants a little bit, you feel me? Change my panties, you know what I'm saying? All that, I'm rocking some, some little Christmas festive stuff, best time of the year, you feel me? But yeah, I'd appreciate it if y'all would like, comment, subscribe, click the little notification bell, ding all that you know what i'm saying do all that sh good stuff for me you feel me but yeah let's jump right into the video y'all let's go now we are on to the court where i'm going to be breaking down every single sig and showing you guys what each sig does and breaking them down for you guys as you guys already saw at the beginning of the video the little mini montage thing that you guys already saw a few clips of me using it like using these sigs and you can see how i use them a little bit but yeah let's just jump up into the first sig the first thing obviously is the dribble style and what I'm using is Kyrie Irving dribble style because it's the best connectors in the game. For nutmegging like this, see as it's behind the back, see that behind the back that it does, that little switch hands as the best switch hand connectors. Like look at this right there, boom. I can just nutmeg instantly into any half spin like that. Or I can just nutmeg backwards instantly, all that, you know what I'm saying? Or you can nutmeg into this little glitchy spin thing like that right there, boom. And then it just has the best, it has the best connectors and it's just the best dribble style in the game, the best speed boosting. But I know you can only get Kyrie on six fives and under, so pretty much this video is gonna be for six fives and under, pretty much. But yeah, and then so yeah, so pretty much that's a dribble style for you guys. Let's just jump up into the next sig. You feel me? Let's go. So now we are on to the signature size up, which what I'm using is Steve Francis. It's just this right here. I don't really ever even use this if I'm gonna be honest. So it's like, like yeah, this is the best in the game. I if I were you, I'd either rock this. This or uh, De'Aaron Fox, Magic Johnson. If you if you use Magic Johnson dribble style, then I guess like I guess De'Aaron Fox is really good because you can hit that his little behind the back and stuff. But yeah, like not for me. I just I don't really ever use this because I L two cancel most of the time, so I don't really ever use the Steve Francis. But yeah, the best and what I'm using is Steve Francis, and it's just probably the best for our height of builds. But yeah, I should say you should either be using that or De'Aaron Fox if you're six six. But 
yeah now nah, I will be dropping the six video on the six six soon but yeah now nah, I am using I am using uh, Steve Francis and that's what I think you should use if you're on the same type of guard as me but yeah so now let's get into the next sig you feel me now we are gonna get into the regular breakdown combo which is this right here I am rocking Rafer Alston at starter three whenever you can get that it is the best in the game Rafer Alston at starter three until you're not starter three then then use Zach Levine Zach Levine is also very good but whenever you hit starter three, you're going to want to use Rafer Alston regular breakdown. It has some glitchy shit in it and it's fire. But I am not going to be showing that glitchy stuff in the video with this move. But this move has a glitchy move in it. But yeah, Rafer Alston is the best regular breakdown sig that you should use. And it's just the greatest. It's, a, it's this right here. You can speed boost out of it. And if you run Magic Johnson, you can Magic Johnson crossover out of it and all that. It's just, it's the best. I mean, like, you don't really ever use your regular breakdown. But I'm going to be using it because there's a glitchy move in it. But yeah. Now let's get into the next SIG again. You know what I'm saying. So the next SIG is big. This is one of the most biggest SIGs that you're going to be needing. And it is the Ja Morant aggressive breakdown combo it is literally to do one of the best glitchy moves in the game and it's the john morant flip it is this move right here oh my gosh i'm messing up oh my gosh i'm messing up i don't really do it that much this way there we go it's that move right there okay you saw it it's that cool little glitchy move and so yeah that is one of the biggest moves in the game i don't really do it like that that much i kind of just like do it like this into Luca instead of like getting like that crazy glitchy moving thing. I'm sorry, I think my dogs are barking. You guys will probably hear them, but yeah. Um, but yeah, so that that's the John Morant flip right there that you do with that. But um, yeah, so then there's that, and then also the John Morant just because I like to do this out of it. Boom. Oh, I messed up. Sorry. Hold on, I'm messing up in here. Oh my gosh, I'm messing. What is going on? All right, here, look. That. <gasps> Wait. All right, here. There we go with that. I like to do that out of it. Out of the John Morant, you know what I'm saying? And then I also like to do this out of it. Boom, the little 720. Like there's just so many things you can do out of the John Morant. Like there's just there's just so many things. Like you just gotta get that in your bag, you feel me? You just gotta. You have to. It's a must-have. It's like one of the most glitchiest moves in the game. But yeah, so you definitely need to get that down and figure that move out. But yeah, so that that's the, the aggressive aggressive breakdown, John Moran. That's what you're gonna be needing. Is the, is that shit right there? Is the, this thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there, there's 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 glitchy moves in here. And the reason why I'm telling y'all about the John Moran flip because everyone already knows about it. Like not everybody knows about it, but it's like there's a lot of people know about it. It's already out there. But yeah, so that's definitely what you guys want to use as your aggressive breakdown. John Moran is the best in the game with the aggressive breakdown combo. Use that. Now we are on to the escape move sig. The best escape move in the game is going to be Trey Young or Kemba Walker. I'm using Kemba Walker though, so if you want to use it, I'm using then use Kemba Walker. It's the best for L2 canceling, as you can see. Look right there, boom, boom, L2 canceling like crazy. It is the best in the game. I like Kemba more than Trey Young, but they are both really good. And if I were you, I'd definitely throw on one of these two. One of these two for sure. If you want to get L2 cancel glitchy type stuff, it is the best. Like, look, just boom. Oh, I messed up. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's fire, bro. But yeah, if I were you, use Kemba Walker or Trey Young. Like, see, let's just say I'm just sitting here doing all my like my little glitchy Steezo stuff. Like, look at me go, boom, boom. Back out here, John Morant half spin. Let's go this way. Hit the little John Wall crossover. Boom. L2 cancel chicken. They're cooked every time. But yeah. That is what I'm using. I'm using Kemba Walker escape moves. Use that and or Trey Young. But yeah, let's jump up into the next sig again. The next sig now is going to be the combo moves or crossover combos, whatever they're called. But I'm using Deer and Fox. It is this right here. That move right there. It is pretty like, it's kind of just like a misdirection a little bit. I'm messing it up a little bit. But it's, yeah, it's that right there. You see but yeah, it, this move is also pretty pointless. Nobody ever uses these. At least I never use them. Like this is probably the most pointless sig in the game. I never use it. But yeah, if you want a good one, just use the Aaron Fox. It looks like this again. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up. I'm messing up whatever. You guys already saw it. But yeah. Just use gear and fox combo moves if you want a good one. I never use it. It's a pretty pointless move in the game, to be honest. But yeah, if you want a good one, just throw on D Fox. 
But yeah, let's get up into the next move again. The next sig that I am going to be showing you guys is my moving crossover or your crossover, whatever it's called. And I am using John Wall. It is the fastest in the game. Look at just look at how look how fast it is, bro. You can just swipe down the court with it. And like, bro, as you guys can see in the clips, I always use my crossover. It's just easy kills to the paint, crossover behind the back into the paint every time. It's always there. John Wall is literally the fastest crossover. I'd say you should either use this or De'Aaron Fox. John Wall though is definitely better. But John Wall is the best crossover in the game. It's just like how fast it is. Like what I always like to do is, I can say, say I'm doing all my, my dribble shit, hit a little crossover, crossover, make them jump, run out to the three, green. I didn't get out to the three right there, but yeah, then you just run out to the three and it's just green every time. But yeah, John Wall crossover is the best crossover in the game and it's definitely what you guys need to be using. And yeah, just just definitely rock John Wall crossover. It is the best. It, it's the best crossover in the game. If you're not running it, you're 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 crazy i don't know what to tell you but yeah just rock john wall crossover is the best if you if you can get it if you can't get it then i don't know but rock john wall crossover if you can get it it's the best now let's get into the next sig the next sig is going to be the behind the back now the behind the back is trey young behind the back this is the fastest in the game as you can see look at that it, i'll show you guys some clips Whenever you do this behind the back, it also has the fastest nutmeg in the game, which some people don't know. If, you, if you're if you running Kyrie dribble style, it has the fastest nutmeg in the game. And it's also the fastest and quickest behind the back. It just goes, it goes, it is a really straight behind the back though. But yeah, so that's why a lot of time I take my little crossovers and then behind the back into the paint. And it's a free dunk every single time if they play up too high. And I will throw on some clips to show you guys. But yeah. This is the best behind the back, in my opinion, in the game, and you should be running this, especially if you like to play Stizo style, glitchy ISO movement. You should be running this behind the back. It has the best nutmeg in the game, and you should be running it. But yeah, that is the behind the back for you guys. Trey Young is the best behind the back, and it is what I am rocking, and it's what you guys should be using too, and all that. But yeah, now let's jump up into the final SIG weight. I lied, it is not the final SIG. We have multiple SIGs left, kinda. All right, let's get into the spin. That is what's the last SIG, is the spin. So the spin that I am using, my moving spin, is Jamal Murray, it's this right here. The reason why I'm using Jamal Murray is because it has Pro 4 spin, and it gives you this half spin every single time. Jamal Murray spin will give you this half spin right there every single time, and it has Pro 4 spin also in it, this move right here, that spin right there until you know you need that. We need that this year. That's that's the spin this year. And you want to use Jamal Murray so you can get this half spin every time consistently because I think this is the only spin in the game that gets that every single time. I don't know. I haven't tested them all out, but just this is the best one that I have found. But yeah, just use Jamal Murray. Use Jamal Murray spin. It is the best for our dribble style, the way that us ISO players play. You want to use Jamal Murray spin because it has that half spin and it has pro four spin. And I said that like three times, but I just had to make sure that you guys know. But yeah, that is the moving spin for you guys. And let's jump up into the next SIG again. The second to last SIG I will be showing you guys is the hesitation right here. It is The hesitation is pretty big because it's crucial because it, there's certain ones that only give you the sham god. And the one that I am using is Luka Doncic because it reminds me the most of Zach Levine from last year in 2K23. Some other good ones is Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, but I'm using Luka Doncic because it reminds me the most of Zach Levine from last year. You can, you can get Zach Levine this year, but you have to get started three. But right now I am using Luka Doncic because I haven't hit started three yet. But whenever I hit started three, I'm going to be using it. But yeah. This is the best hesitation so far that I, I found on my own, which is this Luka Doncic Hezzy. It is really good and has a really good sham god and it's a pretty instant and fast sham god. But yeah, that is the second to last SIG that I'm going to be showing you guys is the, the, the hesitation. And the final SIG that I will be giving you guys is the step back. And as you already know, I am using Luka step back people. This is the best step back in the game. But you're not going to have the snatch back. You're not going to have that meta snatch back that everyone does. All you have is this. This little snatch back between the legs. This little between the legs snatch back. But, yeah, I'm sorry you don't get the snatch back that everyone else has. The, I think it's John Wall step back that gets that. I don't know because I don't even rock that. But, 
yeah, you're going to want to use Luka step back if you want to be a Stizo dribbler, if you want to be an ISO dribbler, a glitchy dribbler, all that. You're going to want to rock Luka step back. This has been the thing thing since 2K23. I think I was using 2K22. I don't even remember 2K22 that much. But this is what I was rocking in 2K22 as well, I think. I don't even know, but I was using this in 2K23. And yeah, th this is just the best step back in the game for Stizo heads. And uh, yeah, this you want to use Luka step back because all right, look, the reason I'm going to use, use Luka is because look, so say you're right here, you're going to go boom, boom, out to the three. You see that? The nutmeg backwards on it is so good. And then if you get in the dribble glitch, if you get in the dribble glitch, bro, you, you fly twice as far out. Like look, boom, you see how much faster that was? See how much faster that was than it was before? Like watch, look, I'm going to do it again. Flying out faster. I'm flying out way faster. Like, look. Out, like, watch. Whenever I hit my little Pro 4 into the little Sham God, watch. You're about to see. Flying. You see that? See how much farther I'm going? Boom. Spin back. Luka back out. Green. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just so glitchy, bro. You're just gliding. You're literally gliding around the court with this, bro. Like, I don't know why you wouldn't want to use this. It's, it's literally the best behind the... It's, be, it's the best step back in the game, bro. Unless you really like that snatch back. But you don't need that snatch back. You know what I'm saying? Like, why not look cool? This looks cooler and glitchy, you know what I'm saying? Like, just look, bro. It just it just flows so good. It just flows so good with everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just it's just the best. It just flows so good. And it's like, bro, you just got to use it. Like, you just got to. I'm telling you right now that you just got to use it. It's the best. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm getting glitchy out here. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, it, it is definitely, in my opinion, the best step back. Like, look at that, bro. It's just... It just sets you up perfectly at the three-point line, bro. When you're at the midi, and I feel like the green window just is just bigger with that. I swear, like just look green. It's just so easy to green off of. But yeah, that is the um, the sigs for you guys, bro. That's the last and final sig that I have for you guys. I will be dropping more content soon, and I will be uh, dropping the six six sigs. So I know a lot of people have been rocking the six sixes, but yeah, that th that is what I am rocking and all that. But yeah, I'd appreciate it if y'all liked, comment, subscribed, and I appreciate it if y'all made it this far in the video and all that. But yeah, these are my sigs for my six foot three, and I hope that y'all enjoy them and y'all like them and turn into some cool dribblers, you feel me? But yeah, uh, that's all I got for you guys. I will be having more content coming soon and all that. So yeah, and uh, I appreciate y'all for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye? Nah, I'm just playing. But yeah, I'll catch you guys. I appreciate it for tapping in. But yeah, bye, everyone.